Hi everyone, I am in Chengdu, China, and today I'm going to take you with me to visit the Southwest Jiaotong University campus. Uh, it's a walk from here, something like 20 minutes, and we will check the facilities, the colleagues and friends I'm working with, and the research project. Also, I will explain it. So let's go. And I'm getting in the campus. And this is a breakfast bar and the classical tofu milk. Very interesting. So I'm back here on site and as you can see, taking pictures with this famous logo behind me, South West Jiaotong University. So we are approaching the School of Engineering building. Here is where most of the time I'm staying. My office is upstairs in the first floor. And I'm going to take you to my office. Welcome to the School of Mechanical Engineering. I am here in the main building where I am working with my colleague. I'll take you on a tour just to let you know uh, this collaboration started since last year. We are working on building thermal storage with a focus on phase change materials. So the School of Mechanical Engineering was established in 1919 and it's famous for a lot of projects that they worked on, especially on infrastructure and trains. It's a very well-known university with a lot of history on trains and you can see they have a lot of uh, projects that they worked on and the different deans and uh, faculty members. I work here with Professor Jinping Yuan, for example, he is the current uh, faculty dean and they have a lot of publication and work. I want to show you the most interesting one is this train. This is the, the wall of achievement of research work and this is the most important one which is the high speed train of uh, China. They work in the development of this uh, project. So let me give you a tour in my office. Here are my papers, my checklist that I work with daily and my computer and you know this channel. So also I have a lot of chocolate every time when I come from Belgium I take with me a lot of chocolate and my filming um, equipment. Hi Jaoli, welcome to my channel. So uh, we are collaborating together, uh -huh. working on research on phase change material uh -huh. and Jaoli is the first one I met in China and he is the reason why I am here in China. Thank you very much. I like it, I like it, I really like it. So my research at Southwest Jiaotong University is mainly about phase change materials and those are materials that can store energy, heat or coolness and simply release them with a delay. And we use them mainly in applications and buildings. Uh, we're working with an architectural firm here in China and we're working uh, also with a different laboratories to do experimental work so that we can make sure that these materials will function properly. Uh, so far we published four or five papers and we still want, have one year of collaboration regarding phase change materials. And we have also a new PhD student who is going to work on that topic in collaboration between China and Belgium. So I'm working on with two laboratories. One is the Collaborative Innovation uh, Center for Building Energy Conservation and Green Buildings of uh, Southwest Jiaotong University. And I'm working also with the Sichuan Engineering Laboratory of Control and Energy Conservation for a Green Built Environment. So this is the lab setting and here are some laboratory ovens. Temperature is very important. This is the PCM A44H that we are using. It comes in the form of powder or flakes and here you can see the powder analysis machine 
after grinding and this is the biological microscope for characterization this is the mixing pot with also temperature control this is the group we had earlier last year with the lab and this is the climate chamber so so far we have uh, five publications i will leave them down in the link between developing the pcm integrating it in the envelope and finally applying it so after this tour in the laboratory it's time for lunch so let's go so let me introduce you the restaurants of the university as you can see, there is several canteens. This is a classical Chinese canteen. It's written here in Chinese, which I can't read. And this is another restaurant. It's written here, Halal. Here you go. I got the chopsticks and I'm ready to eat. There is huge variety. Um, I ordered uh, the rice and this mix of tofu and beef. Then I or, or took an uh, option of potato sliced and fried with uh, red beef. Uh, it's really looking delicious. And finally, I took the chop choy, chop choy, uh, very classical uh, Chinese uh, cabbage. So let's try. It looks like chili, but I'm going to try. Mm. Crunchy, very nice. Tofu. Mm -hmm. Very good. Spiced. And the umami taste is definitely in. Little potato. Mm. Very good. I like it, but have a look at that. This is really scary, guys. Very chilly, very hot. For those who like chilly food, they know what I'm talking about. I'm tired because the time lag is killing me. But yeah, it's going and slowly, slowly I'm catching up with the six hours difference. So, see you later. So on my way back to the office, allow me to take you on a tour on campus to have a look at the student housing, look at the postal service, the laundry service, also how to uh, visit the bank and create a bank account and finally grab a coffee and go back to the office. Those are the student dorms. Here's the laundry for washing clothes, well equipped and students come with their own wash, washing powder or washing uh, liquid. You will find a central package delivery center here. You can order any delivery and it will arrive. And actually students, they will uh, have a code. They will uh, sign in in this machine and then it will indicate where is their package and they just go and pick it up. So as you can see, these are a lot of packages and students just can pick them up and the orders are 24 seven. Also you'll find a China Bank branch on campus so you can withdraw money through ATMs or you can exchange money or you can even open account if you have a student status. So here you go. 
I'm heading to the only coffee outlet that I could find and I will line. I think I need to install first the application before ordering because here you cannot order by simply requesting your drink. So let me check first the installation of the app. Yes, here it is. I have to install the app first and then I will make a choice from the drinks that I'm going to pick. Let's see. So I got my coffee, but it was not a smooth experience. It was still difficult because uh, I had to install the application and it didn't work. So I just made a direct order and even that was complex because it was in Chinese. So yeah, anyway, I have the coffee, but it's not easy. Learning in progress. Let's go back to the university. Here are all the orders waiting. So, so this is another aspect interesting about China. I'm in front of the university campus and here is the place where all deliveries arrive and people or the delivery uh, couriers, they just drop the orders, call or report online on the arrival and students simply come and pick up their orders. I never saw such a thing, but I found it very interesting, organized. And as you can see, if I step back, this is uh, the main university entry. It's interview time. My name is Jolly John, coming from China. I work as an associate professor in Southwest Jiao Tong University, which is located in Chengdu, Sichuan Province. Uh, I hold a PhD degree of heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. I made a postdoc in WUB in Belgium. My research topic is energy storage and energy efficient utilization in buildings. The research question is that we try to apply energy story technology into building energy conversion. As you know, building heating and cooling is increasing uh, this year to maintain a thermal comfortable indoor environment for people. Therefore, building uh, energy consumption is becoming a critical issue. So that's the point we try to solve the problem. The research methodology we use is experiment and simulation. We use experiment to test the, you know, the experiment performance and we then build a details model to analyze the working mechanism. We validate our research by conducting experiment device. For example, we build a small experiment device, then we test the result from the experiment. The benefit of international students to study in Southwest Jiao Tong University? There are three things. First, you have a chance to study a foreign language like Chinese. Second is you have a chance to see a lot of beautiful scenery in China. Also, you can find panda in here. The third is you can experience a different uh, uh, style of education. Yeah, I think that's well. I think the important Chinese word is friendship. Yo hao. Thank you. So, well, this is the end of today's visit to the Southwest Jiao Tong University campus. It's a medium-sized campus with a lot of facilities. I tried to give you an idea about students' life, academics' life. So I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video in another campus in China.